All right, welcome guys. Uh, today I want to introduce you guys and girls um, on something called the array, uh, raycast, and uh, overlap sphere. Um, I'm assuming you know the basics of uh, Playmaker or at least coding in terms of uh, different um, variable types. There are many different variable types and what we're going to be talking about is array. Simply put, uh, array is um, can contain a lot of information uh, such as game objects or otherwise. Uh, which you can uh, extract or add uh, within the game um, so I just wanted to show a very simple way I'm not gonna show a lot of things at the same time just how to utilize the array list add in a um, simple way uh, and the way I'm doing it in this time around is that I have a sphere that's moving and when I'm getting uh, close to one of the boxes it's randomly trying to pick up uh, one of those boxes within the vicinity and it will reduce it down to the floor in other words it's moving it down and you know uh, the idea here is to show you that you might have a game where you have a, maybe a first person view or in this case a top down view and the idea is to get to the other side safely uh, and maybe you have traps and things are uh, chasing you uh, you might have fog of war kind of concept and so on so that's basically what I want to show you and uh, I'm gonna remove a couple of things uh, because I won't be talking too much about um, different things you can do or cannot do but basically uh, what I did, I added the rollerball. The uh, first thing you're gonna need is the ecosystem from the playmaker. Um, you need to download the the ecosystem, and you want to look for, uh, make sure that you also download the array maker. So you basically want to search, and you want to get this one, and you want to search for. Um, get next physics overlap sphere. You can use the similar approach using a sphere cast and get next sphere, sphere cast all heat, but those have a different result and pros and cons and challenges. So I'm just going to be using this one. That's the two things you need from the ecosystem, uh, and you should be uh, good to go, I think. And for the to speed up things, you want to import package, you want to import characters, and you want to drag out the rollerball. So we're going to drag out the new rollerball, we're going to turn off the one we have. So like this. And let's click play just to do a quick test. All good. You want to go into Playmaker. So control left click and you want to make sure um, that we got uh, the necessary equipment or should I say states or action to get started um, if you look at what I did uh, I added the get next physics overlap sphere first and the basic concept is that there is um, an invisible sphere coming from the game object which is uh, registering um, the object that I want to pick up so in action I'm gonna go right get next physical overlap sphere let's do control let's do shift and space to maximize the screen for now so the basic concept is I'm using the owner which is the ball the roller ball I don't need position for this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna keep the range f f at around two, and I'm gonna pick layer mask one. 
that's basically saying that I want to make sure that the specific object with a specific layer is what I want to be registering for so I'm picking wall so shift space and I'm showing you that the objects here they all have the layer wall and the tag wall uh, just in case as well for um, something that I have done previously but won't be showing in this case and we want to be checking for we want to make a new variable and we want to call it uh, found wall object we want to have an event called loop we want to have an event called nothing and we want to have an event called done and we want to rename the fsm to register wall uh, yep and detect wall for the state so basically what's happening here is um telling the ball that I'm looking for objects with a tag or a layer wall and if I'm touching anything that has it I want to make sure that I uh, save it in found wall object so let's check as you see uh, down here it says wall 11 so it is in fact detecting one of the walls within range so if we click on the wall click on 11 and go to scene you can see that it's the one right next to it click play again take the ball it's finding the wall 11 so it seems to be working fine if I increase the radius to 5 click play Check variable find wall object is founding finding 10. So let's see, that's 10. Last time was this one. So increasing the range increases the possibility of picking something else further away. If you do it too much, in this case, I have a general idea what I want to do with the in the future, but if you do it too much, it's going to start picking up walls that you can't even reach. So it's going for number nine. Number nine is hopefully within vicinity. If you keep increasing it, it might start picking another walls and you won't be uh, getting there anytime soon. So that explains this part. So the next one was get Raycast tit info and error list add. So let's do the loop, drag it, control down and we are going for get raycast hit info and we want to still just keep it simple we're using the variable the game object variable called found wall this one here that we created earlier and we don't need the other ones even though I had it on the previous one Um, so basically this one is saying we want whatever this overlap sphere which is uh, another kind of ray casting which is basically invisible lines looking for the objects when it's hitting normally used for projectile and firing and everything uh, ray cast uh, it's uh, checking whatever this one is hitting within range in this case 2 and if the within range 2 radius 2 if it's hitting something with the the wall layer, you want to store it in the object found wall. So like click play, and it's storing. Down here you see result overlapping object wall eleven. And you can see that we also storing it eleven, just like it was earlier. So it seems to be working. We want to use this information. We want to use this hit information and store it in array list add it's gonna react on it and it's gonna say that something is missing 
and what's missing is what we call playmaker error list proxy which normally you want to add it like this playmaker error list proxy but in this case you can click this and it should add it for you so it's asking for the setup and we are using the owner which is still the ball because that's where we added playmaker error list proxy it's asking for a reference which is empty at the moment so let's call it walls and let's write down that we are referencing the walls. The type we are using is game object and click the two lines and click found wall. So the information that we get from the the physical sphere is stored in found wall object which is then moved over to this new state and still saved in the same one found wall object because this is a simple uh, action. Um, so we don't need a different one at the moment and then I'm adding the game object information into this list so let's try that so you see it says one and one so it did something and if we check the content of this array list it has stored wall 11 so it seems to be working but that's not enough because we want to do something more but it's stuck there it's not going back so let's click finished drag it back and let's add next frame that's basically because we want to force it to go back so now once it's done it should be going back forward back forward back forward so there it goes back and it stops because there's nothing else it's detecting so for that we're just going to control the hold and drag we're going to call this one nothing we're going to drag this one as well and force it to be finished and go back and for done because we're not doing anything complex so we still need to have control over the other events you could just turn them off as well but we don't want to crash anything and drag it back control s to save and then we try and you see it's consistently trying to register and you see it's it's really registering within the two range that we have and it's going and it's going and it's going 206 at this moment 400 500 so you see it's keep going keep going keep going so we need to keep this slightly under control for this example so it doesn't crash completely. So we want to use that information for um, something in this case. So now you actually know how to use the array. But if you wanted to use it for something uh, specific, which is what I did here, we're going to use iTwin Mobile. We're just going to copy it this time around. Going to move it here. We're going to say that. The object that we found, whatever that is, we want to move it down 6 in y axis, which means down like this. And we want to do it at the speed, a uh, time of 0 0.5 seconds. And we don't want to do any more changes for this particular example. We want to add a finish date. And let's see if it works when we copy pasted it. good we actually want to go back to detect wall and there you have it now it's basically registering and then you can tweak it and you kind of already have like a unique little game idea you can uh, expand based on this one you could uh, as I said if you want to do test more just play around with the radius say if you do 10 Say if you want it to go even quicker in terms of time, you could do that as well. Now you might be seeing that sometime it's not doing anything and that's basically because we're only adding the list. There are other things you can use as clear, uh, empty, remove to make sure that the same information isn't used 
and the idea for the future in my case is to have it go down and up so the player actually have to uh, move around and jump a little bit to uh, get to the other side anyway that's about it uh, that's the introduction for uh, this particular uh, overlap sphere and array list add raycast hit info I twin move by was pretty straightforward uh, so you're good to go thank you for watching and let me know if you want anything else